White's best run was the 2014 World Championship when he reached the quarterfinals, lost in a deciding set to Simon Whitlock. That was the year after he inexplicably lost in round one to Mark Webster. Yeah, he never oh. really recovered after that, did he? Well, it would have been a shock to anyone's system, Glenn, wouldn't it? Let's have it right. Porto, did he? Was he inspired after seeing that wow. incredible performance from Man Lak Lung? Hugo absolutely bossed it. Yeah, he was Hugo boss last night, wasn't he, Glenn? Yeah, total Boy, control Mayer, of this leg. 76. Just stay nice and straight with the first dart. They always say the single is the must, the treble is the bonus. He's got the bonus for double eight. Game shot, second leg. That Boy, is outstanding. Nice, right, isn't it? 76 in two darts for a 14 dart leg. Game. Will he land another attempt here on the 19th route? He surely will get at least the balls I bid. He'll get better than that, he'll get double six. Wow, wow set that. Ian White didn't want to go for treble 19 on his last dart because it leaves this 99 finish. It's a tough ask. Now he's got a chance. It's been a fine start from Ian White. 67. Both players. Mr. Dart to win the opening set of this contest. Now Goto has three more in his hand. On the wire. Wrong side of the other wire. Now he's down at the bottom of the board. Southern end. He's missed four darts to win this set. And Ian White didn't watch any of them, the crowd involvement, he's never experienced that before, Ian White has. Two darts, double 16. A tale of missed opportunities. Well, the end of the set has turned into a missed double-a-thon, who will hit a double? That man has missed four, so has that man. Puffs out his cheeks, tries to take the emotion out of it. Arguably the hardest double in the board to hit. But he's hit it nonetheless. And do we have another upset on the cards at the Ali Pali? Because Tomoyo Goto has taken the lead. Literally dozens of people are thinking about that. The millions and the rest millions. Of us were watching Van Gerwen, Glenn. Right, here's Ian White, banging in the third maximum. Yeah, and look what he's left again, exactly what he needed to win that first set of 99. Different circumstances this time, this is for a break of throw. And like I said, when you've gone off during that break, you try to get your thoughts together. And Ian White knew the strategy was to break early. And once again, he's going to get a dart with a double. Double eight this time. Exactly what Ian White needed. I like this version of Ian White today. It left 99 after 9. Well, we mentioned the fantastic riposte of Ian White. It's exactly what you need to do when you're two, two legs nil down. He ties the maximum count at three apiece. Ian White is attempting here to tie a more important count, the set score. Any one of the next three legs will do the job, but double eight. Wow. The best and highest finish of the match from Tomoyo Goto keeps him afloat in this second set. Or the one after to tie the score. Coming into this competition, these are the types of finishes that players will practice in six starts. 2 0 1, 2 0 9. Perfectly executed from Ian White. Goto looking for a 140. May well get it. 100 leaves the two dark combo, but now he's on the wing of the prayer, hoping for Ian White to miss. Well, he's missed the double he was aiming at. Now he's on double nine, he's missed that one as well. This will hurt. And what it means if this goes as Goto would have the darts 
in the deciding leg. Big, big moment in this match. Of course he'll stay there. He needs to move. He's probably looking at that left-hand side. He's just making that decision, that left-hand side of the double top. That's all he can see. Sensational dart. Favourite to win this set and go two up. It's all you want. Strike another this blow the on the Asian tour, Glenn, isn't it? From, from last night's Man Lock Young win. And like I said, I've used it a couple of times. That win could have inspired him, but you've got to get up there and do it. And you know his numbers look good going into this match, but it's a different game when you stand on that hockey and in front of this sensational crowd. He's looking beautiful right now. Well, he's going to get multiple set darts here. He may get two on this visit. He will. Two at double 12. And that is that. And he really is the go-to guy in this match, isn't he? Tomoyo go-to. We know, and we can go back to last night to see a match where someone came from two behind. That was Manlock Leung against Van Veen. But there's a big difference between leading 2-0 and winning a match. Sixty. Only require 146. Options on the 146. Oh, traditional route, traditional start of treble 20, treble 18. It hasn't been good to him, double 16. It the has now. That's not the first time Roddy hits that treble with a last dive. Probably just as White's thinking, I've got him. The special ways to win sets. Liam White has left tops for the set, but his opponent has a chance to keep the plate spinning in the third set of the match. Tops 61. I thought it was a bull one bull for a second there. Well, that would have been outrageous. That is exemplary. And Ian White avoids the whitewash. And I, I see the similarities between the two of them. Very stylish, very comfortable. Play with a smile on the face, engaging with the crowd. And both like the max. Does he ever? Well, last night we saw Man Lock Young as the man got hot and hit 11 maximums in a sensational burst of power scoring. Go to six so far, and it's the 16th leg. That's a pretty decent rate by anybody's standards. He wants 81. The options, he was just planning his attack there. It's bullseye, and that's a compliment to Ian White. No thought of laying up. 56. He only require 164. And he's had moments in this match, and White wish he could go back. 164, there was an opportunity. Chance again for Goto. Yeah, if we did all the stats and probabilities, it'd be fractionally beneficial by a couple of percentage points to have laid up there. But he's not interested in percentage probabilities, he's interested in flamboyant finishes. Wanted the ball, didn't get it, now he's got to clean up. Shaking the arm a little bit there. He's been good on these combination finishing, but he hasn't been stuttering his way to them. Just need to remember the process, but boy, is he good under pressure. Look at that reaction. Look at the smiles all round. He erupts on the stage. Good for White because you do not see that. That adrenaline is rushing through his body. Does Goto panic? And he responds with the broadest of smiles. Angry Ian White and a happy go to. Such an Contrast, enjoyable game. Wow. Well, this is it. We say White is in the darkest place, go to is in the best place you can be in with a little two data to wrap it up. 60 needed, single. The double just above that dart. Swing. 
two darts are missed. And this match has been a tale of missed opportunities for Ian White. Can he hit it back here? We saw the reaction. One, three, six. Just double checking. Crowd involvement. Focus. Can't be done. Chance again for Goto. 96. Tomorrow you require Fulton. He wants tops. His mind will be racing. The blood pumping through his veins. Just needs to hold himself together here. It's a hit double top. And what a 24 hours for the PDC Asian Tour. Follows it down to the 17. Oh, it is a wonderful set-up shot. Madhouse leaves himself double 18. Brilliant setup, and the graph can't find the first treble in the combination. To level up, set two, 36 for Richie Edhouse. It's wild. And that's on point. He does level up, sets so shaking his head. But that was a good leg. Been a bit hard on himself here, Richie Edhouse. And uh, so far, so good for Edhouse. He'll settle for this. He's finding that treble 20 quite prolifically now. Growing into this match, Jeffrey. A repost from Matt House. Dan, it was one of those sessions that you look at and it didn't jump off the page, did it? But the first game was fantastic between... Tomoya Gotto and Ian White, and this one is going along really nicely so far. That is silly play from Ed House, though. Jeffrey, He's got frustrated, carelessly thrown it in the 17th segment, hit the treble. If he comes back, it's a lot harder than it should have been. He may not come back in this leg. And doesn't. Double 18 found by De Graaf. No need to go chasing the ball down with this earlier on. Just taking his time, but this for a level game. No hand done, he'll be back. Trying to find his way through to the treble 19. Can't do it. Go to the 20s now if he wants. But stays down there. He is down to the 170. Unlikely he gets a crack. Shuffle across. No now We've seen this hit from Lee Evans in the tournament. And that mounted to nothing in the end against Luke Humphreys and Ed House, who's already missed ball on a 167, can't get the first treble for this. Four darts already missed for the set here for De Graff. Make that five. Got to be careful here. He fought to miss again. We'll find out because it's six set darts that Jeffrey de Graaf has spurned, and Richie Edhouse is closer. Is he close enough this time? He could stay there. He does get the treble. It leaves double 15. Richie Edhouse for a two set lead. It should be a level game. Double 15 puts him a set away. And that is a storming shot. Richie Edhouse beats his chest and takes a two set lead as Jeffrey de Graaf stalks off stage disconsolate. That one rejected from the board. 77. Keeps his composure. Yeah, you're not allowed to throw that one, Jeffrey. Jeffrey require 126. Graf will start down the bottom of the board to double his lead in set three. First start. Giving himself an opportunity to try and rattle through this third set. No. Gonna miss. Richie 14 or a 10, got a bad shot on 18. 
But we know what Edhouse can do with these sort of shots. He took a 110 in the previous set. He may take a 117. Oh, he does. And the timing of some of his shots here are just hurting Jeffrey. Jeffrey de Graff's done a lot right in this match. There's not been much between them all the way through this match, has there, Webby? It's literally just timing. And nice by timing, you can read a little bit of luck. Getting your good stuff when it really matters. Headhouse. Phil's given up on this leg. He's got rid of them darts. And for the graph, it's about just getting rid of this fourth leg. I'm really attacking Richie. Try and prolong this first round tie. Two travel skets to a finish. All three, a really makeable one. He's got all three. Another max for Richie Edhouse. This was the side of the board that gave Jeffrey problems when he's trying to clinch that second set. Not so here. Finds a two travel visit of his own and he's down to a finish. Great visit. Leaves 64 for the set. Ed House cannot take the 144, and De Graaf should get darts for another set. 50. One or two. Jeffrey requires 64. To keep us going. It'd be pretty harsh to say Jeffrey De Graaf doesn't deserve a set here, and he still hasn't got a set, but courtesy of that poor setup from Richie Eddowes, there's a bit of work to be done here. Decision to make. Treble 18 on the ball. Is it double double now? There's the first double, double top for a straight sets win. Richie Edhouse misses a match dart. Hasn't been clinical on this, Jeffrey de Graaf, but deserves a set. Can he hold himself together? He can indeed, and he's kept digging in deep, Jeffrey de Graaf, and he's still in this first round match. Another in there. Would have left double 14. That's OK. Jeffrey gets a chance to double his lead. And there's been very little coming back from Ed Jeffrey requires 48. Changes the angle. Finds the bed, and for the first time in this match, Jeffrey de Graaf leads a set by two legs to nil. Oh, keep going. Four perfect darts to start the leg. But the most important thing, of course, is winning the leg and taking it to a fifth and deciding set. Richie. Will be getting himself ready for a deciding set where he has the darts. Jeffrey de Graaf is a speck on the horizon as far as Richie Edhouse is concerned in this lap. Even that Tom 40 leaves him 200 points behind. It is de Graaf set. It is de Graaf set. That is a superb leg of darts. And what a way to storm into the fifth and deciding set. He deserves some credit for managing to mount some resistance here. But look at this from de Graaf. He went in the third one, but the main thing was that he stayed in the 19th segment. It's been a great match. 58. And the graph from here, the field should get more match darts. 60. It's only 60. And here comes Richie Headhouse. Jeffrey Not enough. 110. His eyes were the lit up with that first start. The graph again for the match. Now then. Oh, what a last start. Richie require 158. Needs to go at Richie Edhouse. 
He's had a match start already, Jeffrey de Graff, and it was at double 16. He's got three in hand if he needs them. The first win on the Ali Pali stage. Back from the dead. And Jeffrey de Graff has turned it around. Two sets down. He beats Richie Edhouse. Ten points in it. Advantage Brown narrowly. Keeps him in front, doesn't it? Yeah, and he did that one. What's Boris set up play going to be? Wow, man, uh, 37. Still advantage Keegan, Keegan Brown, but it may just be one dart here. Important moments already early in this match. One dart in his mark, a double top. Game That's all he needs. Keegan, one dart Brown. One set Brown, he leads. The opening set of the match goes to the needle. He takes it. And Keegan Brown has a win on this stage against the great John Park. Not everyone can say that. He's getting back on for about nine years ago now. He, he beat John Park and then lost narrowly to Adrian Jackpot Lewis. A decent run to the last 16 in 2018 as well, Keegan. When he beat James Wade in the opening round, then he beat Zoran Lurchbacker before losing out to Phil Taylor. One man of well, Krishmar here with the first bona fide chance to break throw. A two dark combination with Brown way back. So. Can he get two darts here at double 16? Will it be just a shot at the bullseye? Quite probably now. It is the bullseye for Boris. 61. And that's where Keegan Brown will start, or will hope to start the bullseye. If he hits the 25, it'll be down for treble 19. If he gets the ball, well, he's getting neither. Doubling, finishing stats aside, Keegan Brown's not playing very well here. He needs to settle. First required 25. Double eight, two in hand. Or he opens up the opportunity for Keegan Get Brown. He closes the door leg. on Keegan Price Brown. To a level game, it may be after this visit. It will if he hits double 16. 69. Well, he's incensed for some reason. No need to be. I won't tell him. What? Oh, I will. Don't you Boris worry about that. <laughs> oh, the second set. Boris, who's been the better player, but he does have a tendency sometimes to go missing on the doubles. It's now 12 darts, Mr. Doubles in the match. In reality, if Boris Krishbar told me it was Christmas Day, I'd start seeing carols. He will be back. Unless Brown can go 60 40. He can't. Boris should require eight. Double four. Game shot and a set. And a set, set that was totally Boris dominated Brown. by the Croatian. Brown did not have a shot at a double. Treble to leave 24. Opportunity again for Keegan Brown. Disappointingly, he lost the opening leg, but he's creating opportunities now. That's the positive. But Wayward there. Fortito. Boris should require 64. Seven score. Yes. Top to a two leg lead. And it is a two-leg lead, leg. that's five now Boris on the run for Boris, Boris Kritschmar. Keegan Brown needs Keegan. to stop the rot and stop it quickly. Could be another clean sweep of a set here for Boris Kritschmar. He's left 1-6-6 six, six again in the set. Six then. Wow, 
Bolton. Forest should require 106. Double 16 for the 106 kill, the highest finish of the match. The first ton plus out of the match. Brown was waiting on 54 to keep the flames flickering. Right. It's kind of sorted, but not fully. He's got a leg and so needs to work all, with it. Now all that's required is four new tyres. Maybe some work on the brakes and he can get out of the pits and we'll be away again. Rallying again. He's when you're struggling, nothing comes easy, and for Keegan Brown, everything's hard work, awkward deflection, as we've seen there. There may still be an opportunity in this leg. Pitch Mal was going to say should get it out of the ball, but it could be two at twelve. Double six. Ah, brilliant, brilliant response from Boris Kritschmar. Alluded to the fact that it's Dirk Van Dyven who awaits. Wow, wow. We don't know how the shoulder injury is. We'll have to wait and see until Dirk gets on the stage. Well, I sent a spy to an exhibition in Leeds, and the message came back the scouting report that he was hitting everything for a few legs, Dirk Van Dyven So he may play better than we think. Well, I hope that's the case, Rod, because he's had a brilliant couple of years, Dirk Van Dyven It would be. A real stroke of bad luck if it was at the business end of this year that it was an injury that was going to cause him problems. Oh, look at this from Brown. Brilliant from Keegan Brown. Maybe that's what he needed just to fire himself up. It's been a flat performance. Keegan Brown can only leave a finish with a max and he's yet to find one in the match. It's just not happened for Keegan Brown. It's been an edgy performance, a nervy performance. And Kritschmar finds himself in a great position. But six minutes out of big treble, though, so he's stumbling slightly. Fifty-three. So one away one 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 for eight. the match here. And Kritschmar closing in. And Boris Kruchmar wraps it up Boris with his second Tom Plus finish of the afternoon. Celebrates success. KO's Keegan Brown with a minimum of fuss. I'm sure when he hears the narrative of when you play James Wade, he'll get the lower average, but because he hits his doubles, etc. He's more versatile, he's more of an all-round player than that. He's a ten times major winner, and that has to be applauded. He's also very stubborn on the treble 20. It's not worked out for him well there. 41. Knocks the 41 Matthew off to leave a two darter, but Matt Campbell for a break of throw. Lovely dart, 20 for tops. Shanghai finish for 2 0. 80. James, you require oh, 100. So flat. That was ideal for the Shanghai. I was about to say a typical word. You were actually right in your notes of 1-1 one, one before that last start went in, but it's not by any coincidence that James Wade does that. I've already seen it in this competition so far. Will we see it again? Well, he went for it. Had no need to go for it. Does mean he's going to have to tidy up the 25 when he returns. 59. Matthew required 25. Yep, no dramas here. Two darts, a double eight. 21. No panic, but you do want to put them positive opportunities away quite early. Don't give this man any chance. 99. Matthew McQuarrie. It's a little bit sticky here. Question marks will be asked about going for the bullseye. And it's getting stickier. And now very sticky. No score. Let me just remind you, James look at the finish that James Wade needs. We've already just seen this in the second leg. 
doesn't do it by coincidence, you know. Sensational stuff. How does he do it? For the first set. No score. Well, can the ginger ninja dish out a taste of Wade's own medicine to it? That'll help. Not quite as good as Wade at that. Yeah, we did mention it when he gets them opportunities, he has to take them. Because usually there's only one outcome. When he wants double ten, and James Wade acknowledges the crowd, his score it wasn't his brilliant best. Look what it means to him. He reaches the final of that, semi-final of the slam, and everything's rosy again. It feels like Wade's moving in the right direction. Just when you start to doubt him. He has yeah, something that you said in the studio, and I thought you, you were absolutely spot on, Dan. It's, if you doubt this man, he'll go and prove himself wrong and everybody else wrong, and sometimes he just needs that target. And this time, the target is the fact he's defending a semi-final. 14 for tops. Just drags it low, and Matt Campbell has dragged himself back into this leg with a turn and a turn 14 consecutive visits. Oh, it's on, double 19. A safe one, but he has to attack now. And Game does attack and does line. get it. And Matt, Matt Campbell, Campbell from way, way back in that leg. A good run here at the World Championships will help with the decision making. 140. Excellent leg this from Matt Campbell. But to be honest, the scoring hasn't been that much of an issue in this game. It's the finishing. You miss him go to the 18s, or should have done with 60. that second dart. Matthew McGuire, 44. No finish left from Wade, so loads of time to level the game. 12. No dramas, no panic, Wade's way back on 2 or 2 All he can do is put pressure on, and Matt Campbell really won't care what Wade scores here. He knows he has the opportunity 95. in double 16 for the second Matthew set. McGuire, 32. Double 16. For a level match. It is one apiece. James Wade is not having things all his own way here. But that 80 finish from Wade. Goes downstairs on the 3 or 3, so want more treble 19s. Gets it. Sensational stuff from Wade. Really, it, James Wade was second best for a good little period in this game. And it's like he realised it and has now gritted his teeth and found another level. Double 19. Nestling the bullseye. Right there, James Wade, 1 3 2 finish. And look at the impact on Matt Campbell. Look at the impact on James Wade. And just raised a couple of more decibels here. The crowd absolutely love that. Back leg, that is exactly how he's done for years and years. 100. A little bit of resistance from Matt Campbell if he can find the break of throw in this leg. And he would be favourite for the set, but look at James Wade, just the wrong side of the wire. He's hunting another treble 20 to get double eight for the set. From absolutely nowhere, the afterburn is come on for Matt Campbell in the second set. That's been re replicated this time from James Wade. I was beginning to doubt. Such a good mark there because of that flat first start. He can use that for the W11. It's 49 points away from the third set. Two darts for the set. And he takes it, last start in hand. And I'm in fully agreement of that. It has less the bogey number, but 168 is in control. He's got six darts for me, it needs the treble. And gets it with the last start. Last start travel for Wade, leaves him ominously hovering just above 100. That'll leave tops. Game Matt Campbell holds his line. nerve. Matt Campbell. Fantastic win over Lawrence Lag in the first round. He'd be feeling good about himself. 
Six darts away here from the fourth set. Beautiful setup. One of the big 171 and 177 hitters in the world of darts. What a setup from Matt Campbell. He's just hit the 36 to win that previous leg. There's a tap on the shoulder reminder from James Wade. It does not matter because we're going the distance. Matt Campbell sweeps the set to nil. He has the darts in a decider. Can he summon up another brilliant deciding set? Please, a 140. Please. He gets what he wanted. And Wade won't take the 141. Matt Campbell, this is a golden opportunity to break Wade's throw and throw for the match. What a recovery. Matthew it may be irrelevant. You cannot practice for this moment. Everything James in his McLean. body was shaken there. His mind overtakes. James and that 15. could be the difference. And then the realisation of what have I just done. Not his favourite double down. How's double four going to treat him? Not well enough. Wade scratches his head. He's in serious danger of going out the tournament at the first hurdle for a second year running. Double two. Double one. Matt Campbell is a leg away from a sensational victory. He's six darts away here. He may go up for the centre of the board. 89. He gets the bullseye. And for Wade, 186. He's going to put pressure because that's what he's do. But Campbell, is he going to get one what dart or a finish? Or is he going to get two darts? Up to you, Matt Campbell. 75. What a setup shot to apply the pressure. 18. Double top to win it. And Wade survives by a millimetre. And break of throw. James Wade by hook or by crook is still in this game. Zero emotion. On seven four, he's thinking this damage not to be, but he must find a treble. And gets a treble. Matt Campbell has another chance to win it. But Wade is going to be poised. 100. Match you require 112. For the match. He needs a treble. How many chances is he going to get in this game? He may not get another. He's missed a big number, Wade. Will he miss tops? Yes, he will. Match darts incoming for Campbell. Double 18. And Good Matt Campbell ball. doubles up at Ali Pali. <laughs> having got his first win against Ilargan, now he takes out the great James Wade. The world number 13 is gone. The first seeded player to exit this year's world championship.